Blank TV with Sarah Saturday. If that's not excellent alliteration, I don't uh. know what is. Um, gardening Not Architecture is yes. the band. Have you been on the entire Warp show? Yes, yeah. all summer long. And what happens at the end of this great festivity? That's a really good question. <laughs> um, I, uh, I book myself, so right now I'm working on booking a tour for the fall, follow up and come back to all the cities I've been on a Warp tour. Um, and then just kind of looking for other opportunities to tour with some bands and try to like broaden my reach a little bit. Um, but yeah, right now it looks like a two month October, November tour uh -huh. all over. And you booked this yourself, huh? Yeah, um, this, this year I might bring in the help of my Canadian booking agent. Um, he's trying to break it in the US, so I think it'd be a good chance for me to like kind of finally accept some help because normally I book all my own stuff and it's just it's a huge amount of work. Where's home? Um, technically it's Los Angeles. It's a storage space in Los Angeles <laughs> and a P.O. box. We, we know what that's like. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, but I've kind of been floating around and touring since uh, March 1st of this year and I don't really plan on settling anytime soon. So I say Los Angeles, but really it's like the road right now. And then this has been a, how's your experience one to 10 with Warp? 10 for sure. I mean, it's just such a crazy, like I've, I've worked on this tour in the production side years ago. And so this is the first time I've done it from the artist side and it's just such a different experience. It's such a different world and it's so much work, but it's really like you really can get a lot out of this experience if you, you know, maximize it. Can you tell me the origin of the name of the band? Gardening and Architecture. Um, yeah, there's a producer named Brian Eno and he, um, I've, have you, you heard know, of him? I don't him? know if you yeah. maybe <laughs> you Google him. He's very, no one's really ever heard of him before. But he um, created this deck of cards called the Oblique Strategy. Strategies, so hard to say. And um, it's for like producers and artists and um, people in the studio to, or I guess anywhere in life, to use to find inspiration when you've hit like a creative wall. And the deck of cards um, have all different kinds of sayings and weird phrases and sentences and weird things. You're just supposed to like pull some for inspiration whenever you need them. And one of them is gardening, not architecture. So when I was in the studio with my like co-writing, song writing partner recording, we pulled that card. It was his favorite card for a long time. And I was like, you know, it's a cool name for the project. And then it's kind of taken on all these other meanings for me. Um, gar literally gardening, not architecture. You know, I want this project to be very organic. It's DIY. I don't have, you know, and a record label or manager or anything like that. So I wanted to kind of grow on its own instead of trying to force something out of it. Because um, I used to be in bands where I was like, trying, trying, trying to be this thing, but you know, maybe I wasn't really being honest. So it's kind of taken on some other names and meanings and stuff, but I have people come up to me at shows all the time like, so is this what you mean by this? And it's the most complicated, like possible meanings for the band name. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what it means. Because it can mean a lot of really cool things. I really like the name. I put out an EP in 2007 for free online, but when I recorded my album last year, I just basically re-upped those songs and, and uh, I redid one of them. So. That EP is like long gone, but you can still find it online. There's like a piano version of one of the songs that's on the new album. So technically, I, I'm trying to just push the album, the full length album. It's 12 songs. Can you tell us about um, the Earn It Yourself program? It's something you'd started yeah, it's, with it's, Kevin. Uh, well, no, not with Kevin, but um, it's, it's, I started it in my old band. It's, it's more like a philosophy than anything. It's an idea um, based on the do-it-yourself ethos of the punk underground 30 years ago, DIY. And I was just kind of this idea in my old band, I was trying to come up with a way that, um, you know, a band could maybe break out of the DIY community and become successful and, and still be like accepted by the DIY community and still be legitimate uh, because so many bands like they do the DIY thing for a long time and then they get signed like Green Day, you know, like get big and then they're called sellouts and it's like there's got to be a way that these all things can work, these things can work together. So EIY, I was like, oh, it's the next letter and it makes sense, evolution. So um, I started developing the idea in like 2003 and then in 2006 I approached the guy that um, runs BYOFL which is like one of the biggest DIY listings websites and um, kind of pitched this idea about like becoming sister sites and then it just grew into this like let's partner and let's do our whole own website so 2006 was the initial launch um, and, the, and the website is just like um, show trading tools for bands to like meet up, tra trade shows, post shows if they need them, you can post articles, how to articles like Wikipedia style you know um, how to book a tour, how to fix your van. Yeah, and so on Warp Tour, what we're doing is we have an EIY workshop or a meetup every day, and we get kids from the local scene and bands from the local scene in every city to come out and meet with people from the tour. Kevin Lyman, who started the tour, Lisa Brownlee, our tour manager, um, bands and other people from the tour, and we all get together in kind of like a roundtable discussion with and you know, just talk about whatever, um, how to get to the industry, how to get jobs, how to break ground, how if you're a band, like how to take things to the next level, and you get this great free advice from all these like veterans that have been doing it for 20, 30 years. So. It's been really cool and every city more and more kids have come out. Um, 
when we're learning about the local scenes in every city and kind of what the problems are and what people are trying to do and what you know what's happening all over the country. So it's been really educational going both ways. That sounds good. Yes. Can you hear me if I go like this? Yep. This is Sarah Saturday and you're watching Blank TV, dangerous music for dangerous people.